Now, a few videos ago, I said that I thought the peak would occur in 2020. So let me let me kind of back that up with some est or some data as to why I'm predicting that. Um, current at 85 million barrels a day, it takes about 30 years to to go through a trillion a trillion barrels. This is the unit that oil is measured in. So, 30 years, 85 million barrels a day. Now, when you talk to petroleum engineers, they say, here's one trillion. Okay, here's another. One T. One T. Come on, write those ones. 2T and 3T. Okay, so um, if you if you look at this, the projections are that there are eight trillion barrels of oil in the world, or potential in the world. This is what a petroleum uh, engineer would say. Now this trillion is gone. So from 1900 to 2008, we burned through one trillion. Now we just talked about how this is, these are known reserves. So this is what the petroleum engineers have guaranteed is, is in the ground. And we predict that that will be burned in 30 years. So that would be 2040 when these are, these are gone. Now this trillion, half of it is new techniques for extracting oil. I don't know what that means. That's a petroleum engineer's plan. This half trillion are new discoveries. This is where you go farther and farther out into the ocean and find another half trillion. Now, a lot of people don't think that this is going to happen because all the big, all the area of the earth has been mined or drilled and you really can't find another elephant field out there you can maybe find some little little fields but people look these uh, petroleum engineers look for for big elephant fields now here's a wild card called tar sands and this is found in Canada and Canada has just announced that they have an, a full trillion barrels most of the time reserves are underestimated because um, people don't want to be too uh, speculative. So Canada has said that they have a trillion barrels, even though petroleum engineers predict that there are uh, two trillion. Now shale is a new long shot in which they drill, hoil, drill holes into rock and heat it up and, um, and extract oil from pretty much, pretty much rock. Now there are different petroleum engineers uh, Colin Campbell, for example, he's a he's a expert petroleum engineer. He believes that we only have two trillion barrels on the Earth, so he is predicting that the peak is happening right now, and by 2040 we're completely out. Now, my kids know that this is a big deal, and they ask me what I think, how, how many trillion barrels we have. And I tell him that I'm a, so this is Colin Campbell. He's a two trillion petroleum engineer. And I tell my kids that I think we're a three trillion, three trillion barrel um, world. So the reason that I, the reason I pick three trillion is I, I assume that they will find an, another half trillion discoveries and they'll find another half trillion going back to the old wells and extracting another half trillion. Tar sands 
what you do is you, it's a mining operation. You go in with caterpillars or bulldozers and you rip the land and you pull the, the spikes behind the caterpillar. You then pile it up, go to a wheel loader, put it on a truck, take it to a refinery in which you heat it up because it's frozen. And then because it's tar, you've got to turn that into oil, which is a technique called cracking, which I haven't gone into, and then out pops oil. This is not a fast process. This is a, it's a long, we should have a long run of tar sands, but it, you don't get 85 million barrels out of it. Maybe you get one, one million barrels. So this is not, this is a long feed of oil, not a rapid feed of oil. Now shale, I, I heard the plan is to drill four holes 10 feet away and then a middle hole four in a square and then a middle hole in which you, you heat the four external holes and then you have an oil, oil hole in the middle and you bubble up oil. So you need heat, not to heat. So I'm not convinced that this is going to be a high production uh, process. I mean, it just feels like heating rock. It doesn't feel that good. So if you reject these as being not capable of sustaining the 85 million, then you have a three trillion uh, plan, which is what I've, I've told the kids I think we have. So if we take this barrel of oil, or this trillion barrels, we know that we go through one trillion in every 30 years. So I told them that I think that you take 2008, you add 15 years, which is the middle of this, and you get about 2020. So I, I want to justify the 2020. I'm not just picking it out of the air. I'm looking at the middle of the, the, the possible three trillion. Now, petroleum engineers tell me not to listen to Colin Campbell because he's a two trillion, uh, a two trillion uh, petroleum engineer. So I, I am a three trillion petroleum engineer. I believe that we will peak in 2020. I believe we'll be pretty much out by 2050. And that's about when my kids are 60 years old. So I want to make sure that the life of my kids is when you have drillable oil, when you can, this is the stuff that's normal, not, not this new, these new techniques. But so I, I want to, I just want to tell you, I'm a three trillion guy. And that's why, uh, that's where the number comes from. It's not arbitrary. And it coincidentally is when my kids graduate from college and I tell them, you know, make sure you get a PhD in mechanical engineering on the effects of oil depletion on something, just become an expert in some field. Uh, and I, and all of the people watching, this is exactly what I'm trying to communicate to you is that we all need to be energy consultants and pick a specialty. For example, if I were graduating, I would pick industrial equipment. I love Caterpillar and I would, I would focus on Caterpillar and mining operations. And I, I don't know what my kids will like, but you know, my love is, is industrial equipment. I, I, I work there and I, I really enjoy Caterpillar. So this is the, this is the plan of where oil is and where, um, where the future lies.